guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. Last time, Futaba woke up, and then immediately went back to sleep. Right after her hacking thing. Did it succeed or not? I don't know. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when we get arrested. Or not. It's kind of up in the air, but for tonight, let's do some reading. It's been a while. I almost forgot where you do that. And for tonight, what about Billiard's Magician? Sure Maybe Morgana out. would like this one, given his arcana and all. Okay, I'll stop. And no, we want this. To learn the Mazze shot. Think of yourself as an entertainer. Ha! I'd never dream of that! Oh, check this out. It's basically a show. Consider how crazy this looks. Dude! Yeah. Crazy. The Mazze shot's oh. actually kind of crazy. It's really cool, actually. I looked it up. The book even had a detailed explanation and pictures on how to do the Masse shot. We were trying to figure out. We'll have to see if you can actually pull it off. Let's go play sometime soon. <laughs> have some right. faith in me, Morgana. I might be able to do it. I mean, I read a book one night. I got the general grasp of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like seriously complicated. Or so I'm told. Never actually been great at pool. Or darts. Or anything that isn't Atlas video games, but... Huh. Seems people are very surprised. Hopefully that's good. They lost. Oh no. Hopefully they're not talking about the fan of Thieves. Cause, well, yeah, we could be screwed for life. You already know this. Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. What's up? What up, dude? What's bonking? Do, 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 do. Imagine that's what he'd do. <laughs> So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah! <laughs> yes! What are you all smirking about? Well, stop it. You're going to drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation, too. Oh, crap. I just realized our break's almost over. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me, too. Like that research. Oh! Did you just get up? Good morning! <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with him, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. 
What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura? And Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other Metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? Think the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims, like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. Can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Mejed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the hacker of justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. 
And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? Uh, that ain't gonna fly. First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice. I won't forgive them. Hey, do you know where my phone's at? Oh wait, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Silly me. Hey, I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. Nice. I've heard things too. It's become a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from a Medjet attack would have been massive. Yeah, almost too hard to believe. It's no surprise they revere us for preventing it. But we... Did, did we even... It's mostly Futaba, but yeah. It's nice that it didn't happen. Yeah. It's really all thanks to Alibaba. You were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, stop. Uh oh that reminds me. Remember that stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? Yeah. That wasn't Medjet, was it? No, nope. that was totally separate. Huh. So people were overreacting to mere coincidence? Either that or those rumors were never true to begin with. <gasps> Dude! Hmm. You seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. No! What the- Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mm. 
I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. <laughs> you gotta apologize, Yusuke. Come on! <laughs> Me? Why? <laughs> hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. What are you talking about? I thought you'd be happy, bro. You don't have to be the navigator anymore. Besides, it's just a duck face. <sighs> Training Futaba is going to be a lot of work. More than stealing someone's heart. But the positive side is, no one could actually die doing so. At least I hope not. Now that's my fan of thieves! I knew they could pull it off! <laughs> yeah! This definitely proves the justice of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, are, are you sure about that? Like, seriously, we, we, how do you know? There's no doubt about it. I mean, they took Medja down. Even the guys who had been criticizing the Phantom Thieves basically have to accept them now. I don't know if that's good. The news has been spreading like wildfire. I'll give it an extra boost on my side as well. Thanks for the support. I bet the approving rating will go through the roof tomorrow. Look forward to it. <laughs> Why is he, of all people, getting excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. At the same time, though, man, too much attention can be a bad thing. Like, I don't know. When people win the lottery and get their names put on TV. It's not, doesn't usually turn out great. Completely uncorrelated, though. We are also going to be winning the lottery today. Remember the Super Mammoth lottery ticket we bought like three months ago? Yeah, they're doing the drawings today. Congratulations! Oh my gosh, you won 50,000 yen! Here you go! Thanks. Wow. Literally free money. You're really lucky. Now I can afford some sushi for me, right? <laughs> Morgana, you silly gentleman. You think I can afford that kind of sushi in this town, bro? The good stuff's gonna cost you. I don't know, man. Fancy, like, sushi restaurants and, like, my local, local grocery store. I swear, sometimes they taste the exact same. Maybe that's just me, though, but... Now we gotta do some trading, and why does Joker look like this? Uh, someone's following me. I'm trying to talk to Sakai. Impeccable timing, my man! My next request is the melon bread. Apparently it's all the rage with female students and workers in Shibuya. <laughs> so you gotta go to Shibuya, my man. Well, I, I live in... Shibuya, kind of, basically. Mm. Oh, it's you! <laughs> you brought the melon pan. So you want trade? Thank you. Now the old man fists are yours! Don't ask where I got them. They say the melon pan can capture the heart of a woman. Crispy on the outside, but light and fluffy on the inside. <laughs> Thanks, my man. Let's trade again next time, yeah? Yeah, sure, whatever. It's just a free item. Might as well grab it. I don't know. Sakai's one of my favorite minor characters. He ain't bad. And neither is Lala. Oh, Speaking hi. of her, we're going to, What is up with the maracas? Hey, hey. Just noticed that. We're going to work tonight. And Oya's oh, yeah, going to be very upset because we're not oh. spending time with her. Yeah, yeah for the job. Hmm. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah, let's Thank do it. You. All right. Go and change. Oh? Well, aren't you a hard worker? Guess it's about time for me to be heading out anyway. <sighs> Sorry, Oya. Oh, yeah. I got to get that money. Even though I just literally won the lottery. <laughs> it's all you. Well, I guess I'll have you start immediately then. It's almost time for the customers to arrive. So good luck. Thank you. I'll try. Oh. Customers seem to be enjoying themselves. Make sure you learn from Lala's hospitality. I don't think I have nearly as much charisma as her, but I'll try. I'm the most charming man ever. Oh, hey. Excuse it's, me. It's a random NPC. Oh. Good evening. Oh my, you look exhausted. Here, have a seat. Come on. Oh, honey. Well, so your boss has been bullying you again? <sighs> Typical. Beat. As soon as I talk back, he makes sure I know I'm lower than him. He insinuates he'll demote me. After that, I'll overhear him talking about me. Calling me useless while I'm at work. Everything I've done, all the results I'm getting, somehow he's... Taking all the credit. So you're saying that's the worst kind of workplace abuse. I cannot believe that man. <sighs> Horrible. <laughs> so many people quit because of stress. Yet the higher ups all ignore it. With all the terrible bosses I could get in the world, why did mine have to be Shunsuki Kishi? <sighs> hey Lala. I wish those fan of these could do something and help me with this. I mean Like how? 
Are you gonna ask him to steal your stress away? Galley, if only. <laughs> no. I guess that's impossible. But it's nice to think about. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is that our cue? Did you hear that? Isn't that the guy Mishima mentioned before? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's steal this man's stress. No, no, we, we, we can't even do that. Our, we'll be able to steal what's causing his stress, though. Yeah, you're right. I guess. Nice work. Thanks for your help. I'll mind it like you should probably get home right now. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, though. Like, seriously, thank you. We couldn't advance the Moon Arcana without this event. <laughs> All right, should be going home. Get out of here! Get! Come on! All right. <laughs> yep. It's easier to see a customer's face. The place is so... You already said that, Morgana. God, I gotta stop effing doing that. What can I say? I see a word. I want to read it. It's just Why who I am. Back? That's enough for tonight. Let's head back. Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. God dang it, Igor! You didn't give me more persona capacity? <sighs> Maybe next time. But yes, the Phantom Thieves were victorious. And now public opinion has shifted. For the first time in the whole game, there is a majority of people on the fan site saying they believe in us. Okay. I finally feel like the wind is in our sails. Hey, Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for today. I haven't seen him. What happened to him? Hmm. Well, it's still early in the morning, but let's check our phone right now. Futaba, can you open up? Open what? <laughs> the front door. Why? Won't you come too? We're in front of Futaba's house. Well, I might as well. You want to meet here and not at LeBlanc? Isn't that more comforting? <laughs> you never mentioned this. She types every Y and dash in the text. It could be nice if you could hurry down soon. It's scorching hot out here. Oh my God. You demon. Um... Looks like we're meeting up immediately over at Futaba's. Okay, kind of assertive, Makoto. It's really going about this seriously, huh? Yeah, no kidding. But, yeah. Might as well go hang out. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. Yes. 
Yes. You must be well-versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh... Let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Dunno, I haven't been out. Oh. Right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. Th this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, super. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. My children! What have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Ranger's Neo Feather Man! No! Yellow and pink's heads! And red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Inari? You know! Inari Sushi? The tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too! It was so much work getting them set up just right! Oh, uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari! Uh, how dare you say that to me! Of all people! Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Oh, I can't stand this gung-ho way of doing things. I've left Tamara to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. That's pretty nice. Futaba ain't a social butterfly, but she's not bad either. Not bad for a first time. Still got a long way to go though. I wonder how long she was ready for the beach. Yeah, let's not let's not rush that. That might be a bit much. Dude, people are so pumped, man. <laughs> like they're talking about how Phantom Thieves took down Minchi. <laughs> Why'd it turn into Shaggy? Mishima's website has a ton of comments flooding in too. The news coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yes, I have only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for the entirety of today. Heck yeah! We've been getting attention all over the city. So, how are the ones who helped us take down Medjed doing? Futaba-chan? Futaba-chan! Lag! My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise! <laughs> oh no! Uh, what? Yusuke destroyed her figures, and man, that's just disrespectful. Good. Don't complicate things further. Anyway, things didn't go perfectly, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah, 
Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Hasn't she already done that? Futaba is a difficult personality to handle. Good luck, you two. What the? Did Shut it, Inari. <laughs> All right. It's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. We have so much to talk about. <laughs> I can't wait. Lady On and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do. And what are you talking about? You forget, Morgana, how great of a team we were back in the Kamoshida days. Then again, we never really got better since then, so you might have a point, but <laughs> that's still for tomorrow. Tonight, it's time to work. We're working, boy. We gotta get some we gotta get some summer moolah if we're going to the beach, you hear? And I sure hope this isn't dirty money, EY. This time I'm gonna have to gather some info. You'll be on your own though. I gotta take care of some other business. Oh god, that sounds ominous. But we're desperate to go to the beach, so let's do it. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing illegal, right? The guy you're looking for is homeless. He knows what's up. He'll be somewhere in Shibuya. We had info on the rumor about the underground deal. And don't act all suspicious. I gotta take care of some other business. So I'm getting on you, kid. Okay, I'll uh, try my best. Hi there, sir! So you want to know about some underground business deals, huh? You know you can find anything you need on the internet, right? Uh, oh, are you maybe looking for something a little more? I can see it in your eyes. Who sent you here? What? Um, there's no reason to lie to him if he is our informant. Uh, he why, sir? I swear. So he why's having a kid come gather info for him. Never would have expected that out of someone like him. Well, it's not... Yeah. All right. You act like I'm mumbling to myself. You got it. What was that? You're mumbling. No promises I'm going to say anything useful either. So an exec from Hong Kong Mafia came to Japan sometime around New Year's, see? And then apparently some big went down with a huge Asian investor dealing with worth about one million yen. Though you'd figure some of them that massive, but I got more people talking about it. Maybe they lease some kind of high-end club to keep it as private as possible. Nah, didn't hear a thing about that though. I see. Well, all right, we're done here. Go. Okay. Thanks, Mister. I'll relay that to EY. Hey, EY! I just heard from the. Your store's impressive as always. Great stuff. Yeah. It's uh. Nice to hear that coming from you, Soda Son. Oh, crud. I bet you could start a war with realistic models like these, eh? Seriously, these are incredible. I should get going now, though. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, I. Hmm? Hmm? Yo. Uh, welcome. Hi there. Alright, EY. I'll take one of everything you show me today. I need an entire arsenal. <laughs> How long would that take? Hmm. Depends on how quick the parts come in. Some stuff's probably gonna have to go through customs, so... How long things get stuck there is totally out of my control, though. Hmm. Tell me, Mune. What's your son's name? Karukun, was it? What the crud? Uh, that's right. Well then, if you don't deliver on time, might just have to let Karukun in on our little secret. Soda son, please. I wonder how will an adolescent boy like him react to finding out his father was in the Yakuza? <laughs> Guess if things go sour, we could always try to sell him again. What the? What the crud? Fine. I'll put a rush on your order. Happy now? <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> well then. I look forward to hearing from you again soon. Dude, what is going on? Uh, sorry to make you wait, kid. <laughs> I'm unhappy. Shit. God dang it! Uh, can, can, you're, you're selling kids? EY, that's kind of effed up. I thought it was just guns. Just forget about it. What? Uh, sorry I had to see that. Uh, anyway. How'd it go today? Learn anything good? 
uh, well, apparently there's this huge Hong Kong man, and he has a bunch of money, and then he went to a club, and not a not a Girl Scout club. Some someone made a big deal with the Hong Kong mafia. Huh. It happened sometime around New Year's. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if Suda had something to do with it. <laughs> I hear he's been bragging all about a big score he made right near the start of the new year. Uh, I gotta do some research into it myself. <laughs> anyway, nice job. I'm gonna be able to give Pseudo a real scare. Thanks to the info you gave me. Well, I'm glad to help, but... Yo, wh where's my reward? This ain't a one-way street, you know? <laughs> Anyone ever told you how demanding you are? Not really. But, uh, another time, yeah? Mmm. <laughs> Fine. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Suda's face. It's been ages since I've felt this excited. <laughs> it's all because of you, kid. Turns out you're pretty useful. Oh, stop. I just literally talked to a guy and came back. That's... Seriously, anybody could do that. Even more gun. Whoa. But the, the guy wouldn't be able to understand Morgana. Keep that in mind. But yeah, rank four with this incredibly shady guy. Things are getting even weirder. Well, I'm gonna head home early and spend some good old quality time with Kaoru to celebrate. Fine job again, kid. Get on out of here. <laughs> Golly, he is jolly. But still, sell kids? I don't. I don't even want to. Get into how freaking weird that sounds. Later. Uh, all right. See you around, EY. But we're doing it for the Phantom Thieves. But what if we're doing bad stuff? Yo, it's me. Just want to give you fair warning before I go home to Kalru. Yeah. You definitely got some good intel. Honestly, I appreciate that. But now Suda knows your face. That could be a problem. Don't worry, you why. I'm way ahead of you. Plastic surgery. I'm on it. <laughs> you catch on fast. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's too much. Thanks to that today, Suda knows we're connected. Which means the stunt we pulled with Masa ain't gonna work on him. Oh yeah, that is a problem. Well, what's done is done. And if one method isn't gonna work, we just gotta find another. I get where you're coming from, I guess. I'll think about our next move. Until then, don't do anything stupid. When I need help, I'll get in touch. Hope you'll be ready. I'll try to make myself available, but bro, I don't... Man, I thought working with the Phantom Thieves was dangerous. Jesus Christ. Hmm, you seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! <coughs> Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. Ah! Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you Futaba? Yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh, looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing! There were girls all over me! Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? 
There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Eep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. I... I... I can do it. I'll show you. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. I know that scene's all about focusing on Futaba and the fact that, yeah, even her and Ryuji can get along, but why did Aunt have to bring up a wedding dress right in front of us? I'm, I'm not going to get into that. Let's just move on. But yeah, Futaba's not bad. Even with people you think she wouldn't have anything in common with, she can hold a conversation just fine. Our popularity's through the roof! You guys got to hear this. <laughs> this cute chick. Said she wants to go out with a phantom thief. Whoa. But not you specifically, huh? Oh, snap. Not surprised. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Dang. Y you don't gotta say it over text, too. What in the world were you all doing today? Girl talk at LeBlanc. Uh, I mean, more like chatting and snacking, really. <laughs> so she's completed her objective for the day. Hmm. Next up is practice going out in front of people. W wait, what? You'll be fine. He'll be with you the whole time. And we want to ease you into it. So your first tests will be helping out at LeBlanc. Yeah, only he will be with you tomorrow. Good luck. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I'll try my best, I guess, to help her out. Thanks for your help. You better make an effort tomorrow. Bro, come on. Of course I will. But dude, this is a... I don't know how to phrase this. Okay. I'll try my best. Seems to be opening up a little. Maybe we're finally inching our way to the beach. Yeah, slowly but surely. But the way this is handled, I don't know. I'm going to probably come off as... Because <laughs> I didn't plan this ahead of time. Uh... My whole life, I was pretty much described as, like, the shy, quiet one, you know, by, like, my parents. And I think that was kind of drilled into, like, my personalities a bit. But once I kind of opened up and realized who I was after, you know, moving up in the grades and making friends outside of, you know, my comfort zone, I kind of started to realize that, no, you, even if you are what people consider nerdy or geeky, whatever, I don't know what the slang is nowadays... You may have more social skills than you think. And heck, you might have a lot in common with the people around you than you might think at first. I just... I don't like this mentality that's starting to uh, gain popularity of Oh, I can't talk to these people. They don't even know what Super Danganronpa Ultra V3 is. Like, freaking dude, you can make friends with tons of people. I don't care if you think you're a nerd or whatever. Just get out there and try. You might make some amazing friends, but... That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day and enjoyed this little episode. And yeah, the trek continues to go to the beach before summer's over. See you guys then. Bye.